April 12th, 2022, there was a set of events that happened today. I called them the Big Apple event. Um, and now as I stand here, I'm uh, just trying to watch David Muir on World News tonight to see... I, I saw the local. I wanted to see what the world was presented with. Um, so it's this world news tonight and it says dangerous weather threat now what's interesting is there was this sound coming from the program the piece over here disappeared but the sound I mean if I have to describe the sound it sounds like some form of white noise between where I normally hear sound in my ear, there's this static white noise like in the front and then I noticed it's actually in the picture right here. And then when I look really close, there's something here. I have no idea what that means. But I just know that it's important on this particular evening and on this particular... Because there were strange things in my local area. Strange thing. They left. They parked a bus. Oh, and as I was crossing the street, I didn't want to go out into traffic to do the bus thing. So I didn't L... Um, just enough, because again, I'm not trying to be somebody I'm not, but on the front of the bus, it said Candid, C-A-N-D-I-D. -I, I didn't get a picture of it, but it was there. And if somebody does their own inspection of the bus, it's not the most words that wins this whatever. Um, so I don't know what to do, uh, but again, unusual event in my local by foot traffic, just doing the level of exercise I'm able to do, um, without damaging my organs best I can. Um, also doing a lap around where there's NYPD cameras, so I'm on, I'm in the area, I'm where I'm supposed to be, because I got nowhere else to go at the moment until whatever and whatever, whatever. Um, it's like strap hanger here. I think I said that word today, I was like, oh, that's exactly what I feel like. And I don't know what that means to other people, but for me, it's just like that schmared word in Jack, Jacques and the Giant horror. I'm holding on to some kind of like, it's it's a trap. It's like I my entire life has been some form of a trap. I don't know why. It's just what it feels like. And now like the body's deteriorating, which is even worse. So... Um, I'm just documenting the strange events, um, paranormal, paranormal events. I mean, cause like they don't, in my area, they don't just park and it's not an abandonment of a bus. They just parked it for however long until somebody more important than myself calls them to tell them to move it. Um, but somebody knew to park it there in however the city works I just happened to be walking by the first time I didn't do anything there were two men in the bus they were the employees I didn't it didn't really dawn on me right away the first time by the second time my nightly walk after dinner a couple hours went by I'm like now that's unusual that it's still there and there's no employees in the bus now so I'm like so now privacy does matter no New York City employee buses. Let me just take a look. So I look at the signage, and that's where I see representation matters. And I'm like, is that like a, an abuse of authority? Or like, it's one of those, 
I really don't know how to interpret this Queen's Division. I just don't. They don't ask my opinion. They don't ask my advice. They haven't invited me in. They haven't made a seat for me at their tables when they're doing this collective bargaining or whatever they do and whatever they're running and Teamsters and unions. I hear all sorts of words. I have no idea how... I don't have a criminal organized criminal chart here. I just have a lot of people filing in in a they're not rock paper scissors not according to the rock wall and there's an increasing ratio that's really frightening um and there are people somewhere in the world that like to keep tabs on numbers ratios for things I for like 9 10 11 dimensional things but in a four, five, six dimensional kind of a way, just as a number eight that belongs to number seven that hasn't ever gotten to where she needs to go um, and still missing her number seven, who happens to be six foot over. But again, like, I mean, I hate to keep throwing in the stated obvious of if you ever saw me out and I was with somebody who was less than six foot, like, I mean, for crying out loud, can't somebody get something right? Storms tomorrow from Dallas to Chicago and moving east. Ginger Z tracking it all. The pandemic, the Omicron subvariant, now nearly 90% of cases here in the U.S. And the alarming images from Shanghai tonight amid a major spike in COVID there. Families now being forced to stay in their homes. The food shortages and the drones with messages from Chinese authorities telling residents what they can and cannot do. And here at home tonight, I... a passing to note, a very popular comedian, his iconic, unmistakable voice. Tonight, with David Muir, reporting tonight yeah. from Brooklyn. Oh, this reporting from where? This news tonight, with David Muir, reporting tonight from Brooklyn, New York. And good evening tonight from Brooklyn, the scene of a horrific attack inside a New York City subway during rush hour. The subway stop just behind us here, the gunman suddenly putting on a gas mask, unleashing a smoke canister and began firing so he's actually live in the field in brooklyn i did a, a different photo earlier today of just whatever synopsis or like sample of whatever was going on but now he's it looks like but again i never really know if the production artist it's hard to tell i mean like there's ways that like the professionals can figure out that he's in the field me i got no idea 10 people shot five critically 29 people injured in all so many rushed to area hospitals and at this hour the massive manhunt underway right now you can hear the helicopters overhead just a short time ago police locating a u-haul truck that may be linked to the suspect police say it all began on a subway train heading for manhattan it was all unfolding as the train approached the 36th street station right here in brooklyn the suspect then putting on that mask pulling the canister out of the bag, blinding the passengers in the car with smoke, and then opening fire. Commuters rushing out of the train once it stopped at the station, witnesses helping some of the injured onto the platform. Some of the injured still lying on the floor of the train, and in the chaos, the attacker then getting away. Tonight here, the investigation underway, the hunt for surveillance video in this very busy neighborhood. And we learned today that the cameras inside the subway station were not working. But a witness did get an image of the attacker, and that image tonight is now being circulated among law enforcement. Police believe this attack was planned out, and tonight our team here with new reporting how they possibly linked this suspect to this U-Haul vehicle now surrounded by authorities tonight. ABC's Janae Norman leading us off right here on the scene in Brooklyn. Some were heading to work, others to school. Their rush hour train pulling into a Brooklyn station. But then, when the doors opened, pandemonium. Terrified commuters scrambling out of the subway car, smoke billowing behind them. 36th Street and 4th Avenue. After multiple people shot, with explosive Victims sprawled across the platform and inside the train, a fight for survival. This man helping one of the victims. 
the whole ordeal, the stuff of New York nightmares. Police say the shooter was a passenger on the train, initially just another face in the crowd, seen in a green construction vest, mumbling to himself. New York's new police commissioner describing the moment he unleashed the smoke inside that car. As the train was pulling into the station, the subject put on a gas mask. He then opened a canister that was in his bag, and then the car filled with smoke. After that, he began shooting. Passengers couldn't see, couldn't breathe. One man we spoke with thought the pops he heard were fireworks. It's not until after the, the popping stopped, I, I saw on the floor that there was a lot of blood, and I realized... I, again, I don't want to go into this. This is not my cup of tea. I don't like guns. I don't like scalpels. I don't... Mm -mm. Um, so, uh, there's some different sources that were, um, whatever, but, I mean, I'm still having trouble, um, just with regular mobility in an area that's not far from there. Um, that's Brooklyn. Um, I made note of it earlier today, um, so I'm going to finish watching the program, but what really struck me as odd was that I, and I don't even know how to describe it, it's almost like an image between, it's not at the bottom, um, for the label or like a banner of some sort for giving some kind of credit in this digital age to whatever with the very specific drawn characteristics based on whatever is needed in whatever was whatever. Um, but it was on the side of the screen, which was bizarre. And it had, again, I've also seen that in the local area when I've been recording weather pattern. Um, but in the physicality, again, I'm having trouble with pressurized um, and health um, integration at like a high, a high doctorate level. Not that I have one. Um, but I don't have access to somebody who does have that level of doctorate in order to report directly to, and I don't trust a single soul inside of this New York City health system, especially the way that they're, the city is going on. Um, um, so I have, I've noticed the lightning, um, I've actually caught photos of the lightning, not in a vertical horizon, but on a horizontal horizon, uh, staying up towards the stratosphere, meaning something on the ground level is not working at a level that some of the other I've recorded states in an overlay parlay, they've reported in through this this outlet. I've reported that they're they're reporting through whatever level this is that their lightning is they have regular people reporting in or send knowing where to send it, that their lightning was acting in a different function than my own. Um, on that sidebar on here with some other screen, it looks like. Um, I've, I haven't had the screen necessarily, but I've had in the photos that I've taken through the camera, streaks where even the energy on the visual spectrum is not um is not a pattern that is seamless it looks like it's there's there's breaks i don't know if you call it breaks in the reality again i mean i don't have somebody to consult with that speaks like divisible indivisible ration um, rational and irrational numbers like that poly mathematics poly science that I should have been put into because it's where my geometrically spatial heart like thrives to be or like dreams of being in but has been withheld from I don't have that level of whatever in my daily life so um, just documenting at my simplistic level, whatever that is. Because um, I don't know what it pertains to. 
or what could even change my monitor. This, I mean, like, this television at this point, is it a monitor? I don't know. I mean, like, a computer monitor that they just throw digital stuff onto? Again, I don't know. I don't know how the professionals at 9th, 10th, and 11th dimension want things written. I don't know how 4th, 5th, and 6th dimension report things in. I'm still just looking for my number 7. I miss number 8, and we were born in 1978. It's been a while. <sighs> Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Ketteros, it's Earth. Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken, and Speyside Station, Bayside, New York, Woman 361.